Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, it is currently uh, 11.46 a.m. <clears throat> and I just wanted to get this out there in lieu of another video. Um, my in memoriam on Robin Williams is taking a bit longer than I expected because I want to do my research completely. I want to get it all sorted out. I want to do a tribute that encompasses the kind of man that Robin Williams was and that's why it's taking so long and I do apologize uh, when it finally comes out I will let you know but I may do other videos in the meantime like this one and uh, I um, wanted to talk about a few things today um, upcoming events for me um, I broached the idea of going to London and film Comic Con film and Comic Con even why would it be London and Film Comic Con? Uh, London Film and Comic Con next month on July 17th. I broached the idea to her and she was all for it. And so we're going on the Friday of London Film and Comic Con and expect there to be a vlog there. I am going for one very, very simple reason. Everybody who knows me knows that I'm a Power Rangers fan through and through. I've met Bulk in School, I've met Rocky, I've met Zach, yeah. I've met those people. And there's only two ultimates that I need to meet, and I don't need to meet any other Power Rangers actors ever. And one of those is going to London Film at Comic Con. I am, of course, talking about Jason David Frank, aka Tommy. And as much as some of the things I disagree from Jason Frank, that come out of his mouth. I'm very excited. As a Power Rangers fan, and as a Tommy fan, I'm excited to meet the man behind the helmet. And to get a photo shoot with him and for him to sign my legacy morpher, and it's gonna be an absolute blast. And then in September, I will be going to a con in Leicester in the UK called Alcon. You may have heard of it if you've been following uh, Little Karibos videos, his We're Still Here series, which, by the way, I f forgive me for going out on a tangent here, but We're Still Here has really helped me for the past couple of weeks. My mental health hasn't been the, gra hasn't been the greatest, and I have been a bit withdrawn, and that's why it's very slow in getting some of these videos out, and I do apologise, but... <clears throat> Yeah, we're still here. It helps me a great deal knowing what he's going through and knowing how much it helps me. And Lil Karibo is a hell of a man. I've met him enough times to know. I've met him four times now. Maybe three? No, four times. Definitely four times. And he is a consummate professional and he's a great human being on top of all that and his we're still here helps him deal with his depression and everything and it's helping me as well so I hope my depression and what's going on with me can be cleared up but Lil Karibo's videos are definitely helping and all the many laughs he gives us from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged and from his Loot Crate unboxings and the Mark Remark, which is a great show in itself. And I do like to thank Martin for that. I will thank him straight up when I see him at Alcon this year. Alcon I've been going to since I was 19, um, which was like the first one I went to was six years ago. Time has flown. I mean, my hair wasn't this long. I had barely a beard back then, still had the glasses, but I looked like more of a dope than anything. Um, and I was very, very afraid. I was very afraid of getting close to anyone. And that kind of, that's my social anxiety for you. And that's how I feel. Um, and then two years later, I returned to it. I missed 2010 for whatever reason. Two years later, I returned to it. And I'm finally getting a social groove, just not that much of one. And then all of a sudden the next year I come out of my shell 
and it's full bore from then on. But yeah, Alcon. It's been running since 2007, so it's like bordering on eight, nine years at this point. And it is an amazing con. It's a more down-to-earth con where people are more personal to you. I mean, I've met many a friends from Alcon and I fucking adore them all. I love them. It's how I got my affectionate nickname. It's how I became Woofy. And it just stuck. It's, it's there forever. It just stuck. And I went to Alcon 2009. I went to Alcon 2011. went to Alcon 2012. went to Alcon 2013. Met some incredible people. And there was an LED light thing that you text it. It displays what you text. And we ended up breaking that. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing De Montfort University isn't exactly happy about it. <laughs> um, and then last year, I went, had another brilliant, brilliant convention. The panels, I mean, I hosted a panel one year on Tokusatsu, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, Power Rangers. And I did it with my good friend, the Nightmare Rider, and Gamer Dev. And... I'll, I'll try and find that video and pop a link to it in the description or maybe if I'm feeling generous I'll pipe a picture up here and whatever and that was my first um, experience hosting a panel and I don't think I did that well I'm glad I had Nightmare Rider and Game of Dev to cover for me um, but as a convention goer it's like I mean I crewed a convention one time and it just didn't feel the same. So I stuck with it for one night and then just went on um, as a convention goer. And I love going to conventions because, as I said before, I'm really anxious around people. I have social anxiety. I have an aversion to social interaction. But when I go to Alcon, it's like that all goes away. And... I'll be forever thankful to Alcon for that. It gave me the courage to approach people I never, I would have been way too scared to approach before. Lil Karibo, one of them. X the Dark, one from yu gi -Oh! GX Bridged. I mean, this past February, I went to London Anime and Gaming Con, and I was in my Macho Man Randy Savage cosplay, and yeah, there's a video on that coming soon, by the way. Fingers crossed. Um, I was in my Macho Man outfit and I believe i just done something, I, I can't remember what I did, but I was outside, I was taking a break with my friend JJ and X the Dark One comes up quoting Randy Savage all of a sudden and he wanted to talk to me, it was like not me approaching him, he wanted to talk to me and that was amazing and we talked, we talked wrestling for a good five minutes before he had to be somewhere, you know, commitments with guests. And I've got a picture, and I will definitely pipe that in because that is an amazing picture. And the fact that his t-shirt says Grab Liz when I'm cosplaying Randy Savage is even more amazing. Um, Alcon, to me, is what broke my shell. What broke my social anxiety. What makes me comfortable around others because the city I live in right now cosplay and gr and dressing up and whatever you call it is very foreign, very weird and you're an outcast if you do so whereas in Leicester there was one time I was walking down the street and someone said, oh that's a something cosplay and I was amazed I was really amazed that in the in the East Midlands, because I live in the West Midlands, and it cost me 30 quid to travel over to Leicester, because um, that's the East Midlands. And in the East Midlands, they're more tolerant, whereas in the West Midlands, you're a weirdo, you're singled out, you're cursed out, and you're segregated from society if you do anything breaking away from the norm, whereas in Leicester, it's kind of encouraged 
And I'm now more comfortable doing a lot of things that I never thought I'd do. And I owe Alcon for that. I owe my friends for that. The new friends that I've made across the way, I love you all from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. To little Karibo, to the other abridges, to all the guests and everything. I say thank you because now I'm more comfortable in life. Now I can be more sociable around others. And Alcon has pretty much given me all of that. And I will say it, um, Alcon's one of the damn best decisions I ever made in my life. Or was ever shoved into. Because originally, because of my social anxiety, I wasn't going to do it at first. Um, but I'm glad I got shoved into it. And I'm glad for all the memories I've made over Alcon. And hopefully there's going to be many more. I mean, for the past two years I've said, this is going to be my last Alcon. This is going to be my last Alcon. But that was because of the way I was feeling about life at that time. I mean, 2011, all details aside, I really actually thought that was going to be my last day on Earth. That was the way my head was going at the minute. At that moment, I thought it was going to be my last day. My last Alcon, my last anything. And my friends rescued me. And I came home thinking about, I've got to go to the next one. It happens every Alcon. Post-con depression hits and it's like, you've got to go to the next one, regardless of what you're doing with your life. And I've made, I've made that commitment to myself. The only time I will stop going to Alcon is when the damn thing gets shut down. And I stick by those guns. And I always will. Yeah, guys, I also got a, a new tripod the other day, and it's like... This makes it a little easier. Get some Tyler Breeze selfie stick action going. So gorgeous. But no, um, that's what I wanted to talk about as well today is the one year anniversary of Rick Mail's passing. In the description to this video, I will provide a link to the Rick Mail episode of In Memoriam as a tribute. And we do miss Rick every day. Glorious bastard. Rest in peace, Rick Mail. We miss you. Um, I just wanted to tell you about upcoming stuff as well. The In Memoriam on Robin Williams is delayed. I apologize for that. I keep saying it. Um, a new rants video is coming up. I don't know what I could rant about. But I certainly will find a subject. Um, and I won't be apologizing for it. I've been told the worst thing you can do on YouTube is apologize. So I won't be apologizing for anything I rant about in that video. And then after that, I'm going to be finally doing a Power Rangers review. And I can't, I can't wait. Because there was two things I wanted to review when I started doing reviews. Power Rangers and Pokemon. And Power Rangers is going to come first, and then Pokemon is going to come after that. And I hope you guys enjoy those videos. Um, I know I don't get that many views, but those of you that do view, I do thank you and everything. These videos are very therapeutic, and they keep me engaged. They keep me doing something. And for that, I'm thankful, because I always need a purpose. And... I can't envision a day where I stop doing these videos. I hope I don't. And I hope that I get so far along that I can actually monetize them or whatever. But for now, I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful to the people who watch this channel. I'm really grateful to the people who like the page on Facebook, who follow the Twitter. I'm very thankful to the very few of you. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, there's a few of you, but you're all appreciated. I thank you very much. Um, yep, yeah, but thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, as I said before, I will be, be at LFCC next month, and I will be at Alcon in September. 
if you're either of those two events, I come up and say hi. I mean, uh, I'll try and be sociable. My social anxiety isn't the best, but I will try and be nice, and I will. I'll be glad to take a photo or whatever. Um, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk about running out of things to say I, I did tell you I stutter and stumble over my words I don't apologise for who I am um, but on this um, on this channel I am I will stumble over myself quite a bit and my hair will always keep getting in the way it's enough to cause beard rage yeah but anyways guys thanks for watching and I will see you for the next In Memoriam, may or may not be on Robin Williams. It depends how much research I've done. Anyways, thanks guys. I'll see you next video. Peace. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and everything. And if you could for a moment to check out my other videos on my channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe and keep it here for Deadbolt Dragons. Peace.